It is back to school time and everyone is looking to find an affordable laptop. So today we are going to review Dell Inspiron 14 5845 2-in-1 touchscreen laptop, an affordable machine for back to school. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First let's talk about the specs. Our laptop comes with AMD Ryzen 5 3500U processor, 8GB DDR4 RAM, 128GB PCIe NVMe SSD, no optical drive, Microsoft Windows 10 Home Edition, 802.11ac Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth 4.1, 720p webcam, 14-inch touchscreen LED backlit Full HD display, AMD Radeon RX Vega 8 graphics, backlit keyboard, 3 cell 42 watt hour battery, and it weighs only 3.8 pounds. The Dell Inspiron 14 body is made of plastic. It lacks the elegance of more expensive Dell XPS models, but it is nice looking. Nicely built mainstream convertible laptop. First impression from a visual standpoint are more impressive when compared to HP Pavilion 15 or Lenovo IdeaPad 330. Once you open the lid, however, all the signs of a budget laptop begins to show. The body feels hollow and not as firm as it could have been. On the bright side, creaking is minimal and the base is fairly rigid around the corners when considering its entry-level category. The laptop weighs only 3.8 pounds or 1.7 kg, so it can easily fit in a backpack and carry around school or college campus. Dell Inspiron 14 is equipped with the latest range of ports including two USB 3.1 Gen ports, one USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C port, one USB 2, one HDMI, one media card reader, one combo headphone jack and microphone, and a fingerprint reader with the enable power button. The laptop has 720p front camera. The camera's picture quality is enough for video calls via Skype or other applications. The camera doesn't perform face recognition, but the system supports Windows Hello sign-in via fingerprint reader built into the power button. Overall, the Dell Inspiron 14 2-in-1 convertible laptop has a design that is simple and clean, and smooth silver textures hide fingerprints very well. The Dell Inspiron 14 5845 2-in-1 touchscreen convertible laptop display has thin bezels and it is available in 14-inch screen size, and it is an IPS display. The 14-inch touchscreen has Full HD resolution, but it is not as bright as it should be considering its IPS panel. The panel supports 56% sRGB and produces 254 nits, which is not good for outdoor use. Contrast isn't bad, and viewing angles are wide, but the mid-level brightness and reflective surface like most touchscreens. The panel has a glossy finish detract from what are actually pretty vivid colors. It's far from the worst I've seen, but it is okay considering the system belongs to Dell 5000 series rather than the more expensive and slightly posher Dell Inspiron 7000 series. It also has a 10-point multi-touch display, works very well when you flip screen 360 degrees to use the laptop into a tablet mode. The user has an option to use notebook into 6 different modes, whatever is convenient for the users to use. For example, tent and stand mode can be used to watch YouTube or Netflix. And of course, you can put it into a tablet mode. Since it is not too heavy, it makes a great tablet. The touchscreen response is great and fast and makes it very versatile. The Dell Inspiron 14 visuals are handled by AMD Vega 8 graphics. Watching YouTube or Netflix 4K content looks really good. And this display works very well in low light conditions. As far as the brightness concerned, it comes in around 254 nits. Means laptop screen is only good for indoor use. The Dell Inspiron 14 keyboard is good for longer typing experience. This is a fast, quiet and reliable keyboard. The pressure point is only slightly noticeable and the feedback of the keys slightly firm. On the other hand, the key size and the arrangements are very good and our unit came with optional backlit keyboard. As far as the touchpad concerned, it is a big touchpad and it is also a precision touchpad, means it is very responsive and precise. In the performance section, our Dell Inspiron 14 is equipped with AMD Ryzen 3500 processor. The processor has 4 cores with base clock speed of 2.1 GHz and a maximum clock speed of 3.7 GHz. The processor is rated for 15 watts and based on 12 nanometer technology. This processor is used in mainstream and 2-in-1 laptops. Its performance is sufficient for everyday general usage and office tasks. 
It can also handle very well some more demanding stuff as well, such as video editing. Our unit scored 1415 points in Cinebench Multithread CPU Performance Benchmark, running at 2.1GHz, which is on par with Intel's 8th Gen Core i5-8250U and Core i5-8265U processors. The processor is slightly faster than its previous Ryzen 5 2500U processor as expected. And in CPU-Z benchmark, laptop CPU score 1884 points in multi-thread and 347 points in single-thread applications. In the story solution, Dell Inspiron 14 offers excellent read and write rates that are well over average in its class. Our units score 1050 megabits per second read and 380 megabits per second write in SSD benchmark thanks to its M.2 PCIe NVMe 128GB SSD. If the single 128GB SSD isn't big enough, you have an option to upgrade to a bigger drive or add an additional second SATA hard drive with an available onboard extra SATA connection for second hard drive. In the graphics, laptop is powered by AMD Vega 8 processor. It is not powerful as dedicated video card, but Vega 8 can provide a very decent gaming experience in many of the popular titles, and also great for popular multiplayer titles like Fortnite, Overwatch, or Rocket League. The Dell Inspiron 14 comes with Qualcomm QCA 9377A22.11ac wireless card, which supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz dual band, with a max speed of 433 megabits per second. The laptop motherboard supports M.2 wireless card form factor, so you have an option to upgrade or replace your wireless card if you want in the future. When it comes to audio, the Dell Inspiron 14 is powered by dual stereo speakers with enough sound to fill a small size room. In the battery life department, Dell Inspiron 14 has 3 cells, 42 watt hour battery unit. The 42 watt hour battery can provide between 5 to 6 hours of runtime, which is plenty enough for daily usage or students for on-campus projects or taking notes during classes. Laptop comes with standard Dell power supply. When it comes to upgradability, Dell allows you to upgrade most of the components. You can access the laptop motherboard by removing the screws from the back cover. You can replace the Wi-Fi module, add bigger M.2 form factor hard drive, or add a second hard drive with available SATA connection, upgrade or add additional RAM with available second empty RAM slot. In the CPU cooling department, we have single heat pipe with heat sink and a single fan. You cannot hear the fan noise during general usage, but temperature never crossed 90 degrees during our tests, which means cooling is sufficient enough to keep the laptop temperature under control during gaming or CPU intensive workloads. Dell Inspiron 14 5845 2-in-1 touchscreen convertible laptop is a good overall performance machine. I wasn't expecting very much from an Inspiron going into this review but I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance of the system. The AMD processor in particular offers similar CPU performance to the Intel Core i5 processors, all while being significantly faster in GPU performance. The casual gamers who like to throw in a game or two of Rocket League or LOL in between classes will find this AMD Vega 8 to be much more powerful for their needs, when compared to pricier XPS 13. In the end, I believe the Dell Inspiron could be improved by incorporating a brighter display and making the full jump to universal USB-C charging. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.